uh, but I've got the other bit that I cut off of that bit of metal I started with. Uh, it's a bit too big at the moment. I want to eventually mount this in a wooden handle uh, and I want to make the nut to stop it where you adjust it and the actual bit that's going to go in the handle. So I'm going to turn this down to 15mm approximately diameter, knurl it all the way. I want to knurl on the adjusting and the knurl will help it stick in the handle I make. So that's what I'm going to do, turn this down to 15mm. centre hole in it because it's wobbling a bit there. Speed him up a little bit. <clears throat> right, I'm just going to go in here 6, 8, and 13. Right, threading tools all set up. <clears throat> I'm just going to take this right up tight to there. That's 1.3 inches. I've drilled one and a half, so I've got 0.2 to give the end of that a bit of clearance. But like I say, this ain't a laving video. This is just to make the graver. So we'll put a little bit of cut on it. Okay, you're back with us. So I'm reckoning this should be the last cut. I'll give it a blowout after this one and give it a try and see where we're at. Should be pretty near or on it, I reckon. Yep, that's him. Jobs are good. Right, what I'm going to do now is part a little bit of this off to make the knurled nut to come up to the handle to sort of fix where the uh, fix where the handle will come down when I do the adjustments. Now, I mean, the most most of the adjustment I'm hoping to do is by taking this down a bit because I'm hoping this is too long. All right, I'll just whip that off and make a little nut for that. And 
then get it out of the lathe and show you what we got. Alright then, to have a bit of a recap, this is what we've got so far. Alright, I'm going to um, All right, that's the ball shoved down there quite hard. I want to make the actual tool bit holders next. Obviously this ball's got to strike it. At the moment that's 26.18 millimetres away from, from the front of this. I want the um, tool holder, really, I want to make them standard because if I do get into this, I want to make a few of them to hold different tools. So I really want to make them, so I want to make this bit 25 anyway. So I need to turn, don't really know how much you're supposed to hit it by, but less than a millimetre or top whack a millimetre, I would think. Twenty-six point three. So I really want this about twenty-four. So I want to take about two, two point two millimeters off the end of this. So I'll set my collet chuck up just to get a couple of millimeters off of that, and then start on the tool holder. Okay, so this is what we've got. a bit manky because oily you've got the uh, the cap which I've parted off now off the lathe it's got about an inch of play on it and the uh, little winer which will screw up to that to set it when I'm messing about with the uh, different tensions on the springs even with it screwed right down I think it's a bit long at the moment. I'm hoping I can get at least half inch or so off of the length of this so I can get the wooden mushroom handle on it so that all together it's down there and my thumbs around this area. Graver will be coming out there. But we'll have to wait and see on that one. <clears throat> all right, well that's the uh, tool pretty much made. I'm gonna have to drill a hole in it for an ear not a valve, an air hole in it, drill an hole here to let the air out of the ball bearing and yeah, it's all dirty, I need to clean it out alright, well that's it for this bit we'll start the next bit in a minute alright, I've got it chucked up, I'm just going to take two millimetres off it Around about twenty-four and a half. Give 
you do a tat and another little tiny bit off it that's um, oh. well, I think we'll leave that, we'll give it a try. I can always take a bit more off later. Right, I'm gonna put my 10mm collet in there and see about making a tool holder.